over the last couple of months, many of you have come to me and said, Sam, I'm worried about China. I'm worried about them taking over electric cars, over the car industry, and over the battery industry. Well, I understand your concerns, because it is true. It is happening. But when you look at batteries, well, it's far more stark than anything else. China now controls. It has monopolized battery manufacturing, clearly. It used to be a competition between China and South Korea. Even last year, you could still have said that. This year, you can no longer say that. Really, that would be a misnomer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Bangkok in Thailand. I'm the Electric Viking. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. So, BYD, they were not really a relevant battery manufacturer a few years ago. They were, but yeah, I mean, no one had ever heard of them. Why EVs weren't that big of a thing? You know, no one started caring about EVs, to be honest, until Tesla really started getting the hype, the excitement around EVs. And it was then that BYD said, you know what? It's time. Now is the time. CATL, same thing. These guys took massive risks. Those risks are now paying off. They're making billions, while much of their competition are basically losing market share and struggling to keep up. That is the facts. Now, in the past few years, there was a tough battle between China and South Korea. South Korea has LG Chem, they have Samsung SDI, who are two of the largest battery manufacturers in the world. However, in 2021, it wasn't a question of how much is China dominating? It was actually a question of, will they lose? Will they? LG Chem was taking market share. They had become, for a few months, the biggest battery company in the world. And then it all changed. We all know why. A lot of you, sorry, people take offense at this, but I don't care. I'm just gonna tell you how it is. LG Chem has had more recalls for their batteries than all other companies put together. That is the facts. They have. The data has been revealed lately. Recently, I've been saying this for a long time, but you've seen the data recently. It's been revealed in the last seven days specifically in the United States, but this is the case everywhere. And LG Chem lost massive market share since then. Now we're talking about just in the past, just over a year. Their market share though continues to go down. I said this would happen last year. BYD wasn't the second biggest battery manufacturer in the world for most of last year, but it was clear that would happen. I told you guys that would happen. I'm sure many of you were saying it to me as well, you're sure in your emails and whatever, and it has happened. BYD is now clearly the second biggest battery manufacturer in the world. LG Chem is now clearly not the second or first biggest. It's now third. But the only question here is not, will it regain second? The question is, can it even hold on to third? Well, maybe. I mean, yeah, they're making lots of batteries in the United States. And that's good for them. That's a plus. But looking at this slide, this slide from of South Korea's incredible success in batteries to now kind of wallowing and trying desperately not to lose more market share. And I have to say, I am concerned. I am concerned that China is monopolizing this industry. We need battery manufacturers to not allow that to happen. That would not be a good thing. But one of the good things that has happened as a result of all this competition, the prices of battery packs have come down 20% this year, 20%. Plus, we've got innovation upon innovation upon innovation. I've talked about many of those innovations here on the channel, but one of the biggest innovations this year is the advent of sodium ion batteries. Now, all the experts, the analysts claim they told you, I'm sure you've seen this in the media, sodium, they won't be used in cars. Don't worry about that. Well, is that even true? No, it's clearly not. BYD is saying, their latest, some of the latest EVs coming out within the next few months will have sodium batteries in those EVs. The energy density is much better than experts predicted. Plus the experts didn't think about this in a real smart way because sodium batteries have some big benefits. They work very well in the cold. Lithium have their own benefits, higher energy density. So it works really well to combine the two together and have a hybrid sodium lithium battery. That is what a lot of manufacturers will do. Now, CATL are the world's most dominant 
battery manufacturer by a mile. They have 34% market share. Even the president of China says he's concerned about their dominance. Well, you saw what they did to Alibaba and his dominance. Jack Ma, what's happened to him? He's only allowed to show his face in public once a year. He disappeared. Everyone thought he was dead. Well, yeah, hopefully they don't do anything like that to the CATL CEO. And I'm going to guess that he's towing the line and saying the right things to make sure that doesn't happen to him. Second place, BYD. They have 18.2% market share. They're up from around 8 to 9% at this time last year. In other words, they've doubled their market share in 12 months. That's amazing. LG Energy Solutions are now in third place with 13% market share, but Panasonic are catching them with 10.4% market share. So at least we've got the Japanese here doing well. Well, sort of. Next is SK On, also a South Korean battery manufacturer. They now have 5% market share, followed by Samsung SDI with 49 However, following on their heels is CALB, who have some very impressive technology, including semi-solid state batteries, which they're deploying in cars this year with very impressive energy density. CALB, 3.4% market share, followed by Goshon High Tech with 2% market share. Goshon are increasing their market share. Volkswagen actually own a controlling share in the company, around 30% ownership from Volkswagen. And Goshon High Tech are building a lithium iron phosphate battery manufacturing plant in the United States. They've already broken ground for that plant. I don't know why no one's talking about this. It's actually very, very important for the US car market, for the US battery market in general. Very, very interesting. Goshon High Tech have some very high tech batteries. I've talked about those on the channel. I'll put some links in the description to my videos. Goshon have maybe the best LFP technology. It's very, very interesting. Although it would compete very strongly with CATL's new LFP technology, their Kieran battery, and also the fact they've increased the energy density of their new LFP packs, which will enable Tesla's vehicles to have 10% more range within the next few months. After Goshon High Tech, you have Eve Energy, also a Chinese battery manufacturer with 1.8% market share, followed by Sun Woda with 1.4%. The rest, 5.2% market share. So if you put the top two Chinese battery companies together, combine them, CATL and BYD, you're looking at market share of more than 52% of the world's global battery market. The scary part about this is I don't see that going down. I really don't know why a manufacturer would choose LG Chem batteries versus CATL or BYD. To me, if you want to take a risk, yeah, go ahead. LG Energy Solutions, that's the way to go. I personally think General Motors have decided, what were we thinking? And that's the reason they stopped with their fifth factory with LG Chem and decided to go with a different battery partner. Maybe one of, that, one of the reasons was they don't believe that LG Chem has the best batteries after all, because they don't. At least that's what I think. I'll have a new video coming on why that is. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.